What's up, YouTube? Hey! This is high quality. Check this out. And scene. What's up, boys and girls? Um, this is a day that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, we're finally starting to work on the Fummins. So we're, uh, we're getting it ready to do an 8,000 mile road trip this year. Um, I'll be leaving from Virginia to go up to the Adirondacks to stay with, for the weekend with a few friends and then heading down to meet up with Jake with his dad and his uncle in Cincinnati to drive um, to St. Louis to visit our friend Pat that we met last year that let us work on his on, on our on the Buick in his shop And then we're going to the Sturgis motorcycle rally and then hopefully if we have time between that and the High Plains riot We'll be going from Sturgis up to Glacier National Park in Montana down to um, Yellowstone and the Tetons and then down into um, the Bonneville Salt Flats over to Pikes Peak and then over to High Plains Riot, and then back to Tennessee, and, back, and then I'll be going back to Virginia. So, it's if we get to do all of it, it's set to be a pretty legendary trip, especially. Oh, there's my dog, especially um, with a couple rat rods that some people would deem not suitable for the road. So that's what makes it more fun. But uh, yesterday, I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. From I got some headlights from Oracle. A gauge cluster from Intellitronics, a digital gauge cluster. And then from CJ Pony Parts, I got this, just a Bluetooth amplifier so that I can, and then a speaker from LMC Truck so that I can finally have a radio and not be using. I've just been using a little Bluetooth speaker, but my truck is so loud that it's miserable trying to, um, it's miserable trying to drive with just that for music, especially since we'll be driving for, it's like, all together it's going to be like, I don't even know, probably like 40 hours of driving. So, um, yeah, I also am waiting for, what I'm really excited for is a four link kit from Outcast Auto Works. Uh, that dude is really cool. I've been in contact with him. His customer service is legendary. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to come in. Uh, he's at the F100 Grand Nationals, I think, is this weekend. Um, so he's trying to get some more customers because he's, He's the only guy that's doing the work. He runs the show by himself and he's doing a great job. So hopefully that comes in the mail soon and then I'll be heading to Tennessee in the first week of July to get that done. But this video will, I don't really know, it'll either be long or short. This intro is already pretty long, so I'm probably gonna have to cut this down. But um, yeah, I'm planning on doing at the bare minimum the headlights just because my headlights right now are trash and one of them's out. Um, so that I can go to a car show, but I also might try to do taillights that I got from uh, Dan Carpenter back when I was at the F100 Grand Nationals back in 2020 um, As well as maybe the gauge cluster. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I'll see you over there So these are the taillights that I was talking about They seem pretty simple just plugging into where the original bulb was, but if it requires any additional wiring, I'm probably just not going to do it right now because I've got stuff to do today, but we'll see. So this is just to show how terrible my lights are right now. I mean, it doesn't help that the rake is pushing the lights down. Like if, if I just put it on my the camera on my hood, you can't even see the light. It's literally right in front of the truck. Um, the rear tail lights aren't terrible, but... Well, I guess they are pretty terrible. Most of the light is coming from the license plate light. So those are super dim, too. Can't even see that one. But, yeah, we'll do a comparison. We'll see how it goes. So these are the headlights. I'm trying to unbox them. Can you come and hold this again? Yeah. I got the wife here to help today. Oh, my goodness. So here they are. Um, 
It comes. It has a uh, a blue halo, which I thought would be kind of cool to have with the Ford, and I think it'll really reflect off of the bare metal pretty well at night. Um, these things just like seem huge, but I've seen some people use them and they just they're so bright. But I don't have any switches right now, so I'm just gonna tape the wires for the halos for now. Um, I'll wire them in later. Well, I just realized also that I don't have electrical tape, so I'm sending the wife on an errand to go and get it. Um, but I'm going to start tearing this apart. It's really simple. It's just four screws for this, and then I believe there's a couple screws for the adjustment, and then the whole bevel comes out. So. Looks like there's just three screws for the retaining ring. So I think it's got a little notches, kind of like you twist it on and then tighten it. I think that you're supposed to be able to leave the screw in, but I'm assuming someone down the line lost these screws and so they replaced them with screws with heads that were too big. Plug it in and see. brighter. I think this is a high beam. So all the lights are on. Let's see if I just want to turn off the high beam. Oh yeah. You can already tell. It's going to be way, way brighter. Way gooder. just had to set it in so there's nothing wrong with the headlight if you end up using these it's like there's like a small lip that wasn't as prominent on this headlight you gotta be careful with these ones because the little plastic pieces tend to break I'm pretty sure they're cheap to replace but I spent enough money Plus this thing rattles enough as it is. I kinda wanna just go get a cheap. Oh, I'm stupid. Hmm. Oh, there's a little wire. I gotta yeah. run that in. I kinda wanna go get just get a cheap switch. Just so you can my fuse. And then just leave the switch under the hood. There's thunder rolling in. I might not even end up going to this thing. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tonight. And we're supposed to get rain again tomorrow, but it'll just be warm rain. Spring has sprung. 
It was weird. We went from winter to summer to winter to summer, and now we're having spring. <laughs> I guess that's just the East Coast. Isn't supposed to be April showers bring May flowers, not more May showers? Well, I don't think the saying goes for February heat wave brings. <laughs> April freeze wave? Yeah. Do you want me to move the tripod? No, it's fine. Here's the moment of truth. If I can find the headlight switch. Oh, oh yeah. Huge difference. Look at that. Even being LED, it's that's that's the low beam too. Let me turn on the high beam and see what that looks like. Decent. So yeah, that's pretty that's a pretty significant difference. I think I'll be pretty happy with that. I can't wait to see what the halos are gonna look like too. Alright, so the tail lights, there's just two screws. I think what I have is just tail light and not reverse light, so but I don't have problems with people seeing me with my reverse light. I have problems seeing my brake lights. My turn signals, my lights in general. People are always trying to hit me on this thing. But I think what they don't realize is that if they hit me, they're gonna fucking die. So. Sorry to all the kids out there. I guess more sorry to their parents. The only issue I think I have with this is how long the whip is. Because it makes it difficult to pack this bitch back in. see the red off the... Yeah, the other light oh, looks wow. like a dot. <laughs> Brake lights now. Does that make a difference? I did not see a change. Alright. Well, maybe I don't have brake lights. Or maybe I don't have brake lights when my truck's not running. And I'm not starting it right now. I guess I should. Alright. I'm going to just go ahead and do the other one now real quick, and then we'll do a comparison. Alright, so let's do the other one now. I'll show you close up what it looks like in there. First bulb is busted. All right, well that sucks, but um, yeah, my re reverse light bulb exploded and the thing stuck in there, but I don't really care right now. Yeah, it's just the same connector. The only issue I have, like I said, is that the pigtail is just so long, it makes it difficult to 
can make it work. Which I appreciate all the waterproofing. thick foam for it but yeah there she is let's see how they both look like. how's it look so good okay, I don't think I'm gonna start it real quick to okay. get the brake lights Alright, so that's all I'm going to do today. Um, that'll probably be it for this video, and then I'll make another one when we go to Tennessee. We'll do all the gauges. i got to get a switch panel so that I can hook up those uh, halos. Um, I also might have to look into the turn signals. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that they're working right now, um, which is kind of a new thing. I don't know if that's the headlights or the taillights that are causing that, but... Um, you know, it's just a process. Today's Friday the 13th, May 13th, so I've got until July 26th to figure this out. So we've got time, but yeah, until next time. <laughs>